we are in section 15.4. Before we go any further, we summarize the, what we have first. So the Legenda uh, associate Legenda function equation can be solved by associate Legenda function. So it's uh, this factor 1 minus x squared to the m over 2 power times the associate Legenda polynomial, which we show that uh, can be written in this formula related to the Legenda polynomials. And last time we also extend that uh, this formula can be extended to negative m by using the Rodriguez formula for the Legenda polynomial. Combining, we have this formula for the associate Legenda function. So it's uh, given by this formula, taking ddx to the l plus m times of this factor x squared minus 1 to the power l. So there's a restriction L greater of um, equals to M. Okay, and then uh, also um, M can take negative value, so M will be taking the value minus L all the way to can be zero and then all the way up to L. Okay, so this is the range of PLM for a given L. All right, and you can also see that uh, this is not a polynomial if M is odd. So this is why this is called associate Legenda function rather than associate Legenda polynomial, which we are referring to this script P function. Okay, so but for M is even, of course, this is still a polynomial. And also, um, we already mentioned that 1 minus x squared, if you use x is equals to cosine theta, 1 minus x squared is just sine squared theta, 1 minus x squared to the square root is just sine theta, so this basically is sine theta to the m power. Okay, and one more thing the function for negative m and positive m for the same m actually are not linearly independent. Um, in fact, uh, from this formula, it's not uh, easy to see, but from the original associate Legenda function, we mentioned that the associate Legenda function involves m squared. So for a negative or same, negative positive negative m value for the same m, it satisfies the same equation. So the PLM and PL minus M actually are related to each other. So uh, they're related by a constant. The constant is given in the equation 15.41. So PL minus M X is related to this factor. M factor of L, P L M X. Okay, so they are not linearly independent. In fact, they are uh, linearly dependent by this constant. And this constant actually turns out to be quite useful. Okay, so uh, you know, so that's um, a formula that uh, will use that. Um, in a few situations. And one more thing is the parity of this, this function. And you know, actually from this definition, we can already see that, but uh, we actually mentioned a little later in the, in the section, but we can write it down first. So PLM minus X is minus 1 to the L plus M power p l m x okay this is uh, quite easy to see from this uh, definition okay now for this section for this um, discussion we'll uh, actually talk about uh, this 
associate the gender function a little bit more, and in fact, we'll try to get the generating function for all these PLM for a given M. So, uh, because it's just involved taking the M derivative, so we start by the generating function for the Legenda polynomial. So, we remember that uh, the generating function G for the gender polynomial is simply 1 minus 2xt plus t square and square root in the denominator which is sum over uh, s equals 0 to infinity previously we might use n or l but it doesn't really matter p s this is the gender polynomial x to the, to the x to the t to the s power okay so this is the gen generating function for the uh, the gender polynomial now we try to get uh, generating function for PLM, the script PLM, okay, which uh, we simply by taking derivatives, so we can um, try to get, uh, like, take the first derivative first and then see if we can get a pattern out, okay, so let's, uh, what we'll do is take the derivative of x, so d, g, d, x, Okay, so dg dx equals to, okay, because it's involved taking a derivative of uh, the, the general polynomial. So when you take a derivative of this one, so you get minus one half plus minus one half, and this factor t plus t squared to the 3 half power and then multiply by the duty of this one will give you negative 2t okay so that's the left hand side and uh, we can see that we can cancel the negative sign and cancel the 2 so just t divided by this factor one more this factor becomes 3 half factor in the denominator and now the derivative of x over here will be just uh, uh, using this to so say one derivative when m is one and there's a minus sign, so this becomes uh, sum over s from zero to infinity. Now it's script p s one with a minus sign t the s power okay so so that's the that's the derivative over the uh, the right hand side but now we remember this uh, the restriction l must be greater than m so this is m this is l l is now uh, s what we call s but then we're summing over s from 0 to infinity. So if you take p l 0, 1, 0, 1, that is uh, not allowed. If this is 0, this is 1, this is not allowed, that would be 0, actually. So that means that uh, we need to sum from s equals to 1 to infinity rather than 0 to infinity. So that will give you that. Okay. And then one more thing, there's a t here also. You can divide t to the other side. So, which means that let me write one more step here. 1 minus 2xt plus t squared 3 half would be equal to sum of s from 1 to infinity. Negative sign, script p as 1 t to the s minus 1 because we divide t to the other side all right now this s is from 1 to infinity 
but this is t to the s minus 1, so the, the lowest one is uh, t to the s is 1, so t to the 0. Okay, so we can shift uh, uh, the index and write like minus sum over s from 0 to infinity p s plus 1, 1 power t to the s. Okay, so now we get back to s from 0 to infinity and also t to the s, except that now the, the subscript, subscript is uh, sub s, it becomes sub s plus 1. Okay, and this is 1. Alright, so you see that uh, this is uh, the first derivative, and now we can keep doing that. All right, we can keep doing uh, more and more derivative. Actually, we we'll get we'll get to m derivatives. So for each h derivative, we we uh, we increase decrease by this factor. Okay, and then. Uh, the derivative over this factor over denominator will move into, to the other side and we just increase this by one, one time, this is one time, if m, m times we increase it by m times and then uh, this will be the m uh, because uh, the, the next time when we do it derivative that would be second derivative m, this will be 2 and we, we Take the m times it becomes m. Okay, so if we take d dx to the m times g, what we we'll get uh, from the left hand side, so we'll have uh, uh, so all the factor becomes uh, uh, so uh, m, this is. Uh, the first one is just one, the, the second one is so you have three halves, so it's three. So, so which means uh, it's uh, 2m plus 1. So, if, if, uh, so uh, actually 2m minus 1. So, what do we have? Uh, it's 2m minus 1. And times, uh, because this is first derivative we get 1, the second derivative we get 3, so second m is 2, so 2 times 2 minus 1 is 3, so uh, it's all the way multiplied back to 1, so this is double factorial, 3 times, uh, this, um, at least the next derivative will be 5 times 3 times 1, okay, and then this is 1 minus 2xt, plus t square and this is 2m plus 1 divided by 2 so or you can write m plus 1 half okay and the right hand side would be depends on how many m do you do each one you get uh, a factor of minus 1 so it's minus 1 to the m power sum of s from 0 to infinity script p, this becomes uh, s plus m, and then this is m power, m, and then t to the s. Okay, so this would be the generating function for all this script p, l, m, and we define that as, uh, we define as what we call g, m, for a given m, this is the generating function for all this P L M. Okay. 